on board, here board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> well, look who's here. New recruits. Well, <laughs> let's fuck some shit up. Yeah, all right, mom, I'm leaving. All right, but can you please do me a favor? Sure. What is it? Can you get some fruit from the market and Izuku? Yeah. Please get something else this time, not just grapes. But, but they're my favorite. I know, but you can't just survive on grapes alone. You gotta eat other foods. <sighs> fine, fine. But, if I do, what, can I please, you want the extreme gear, don't you? Yes, I'm telling you that is far too dangerous for someone so young. But, mom, all my friends, yes, their parents got them extreme gear, but me, I'm not comfortable with you having it. I'm sorry, but it's not yet. You can't have it. Fine. What? Nothing. Zuko, he's just walking straight towards the market, and he sees, yeah, his his little friends. He, them pretty much like so. What'd your mom say? She said no. Damn, man, that's tough. But, um, you think I could borrow one of you? No, 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 no. There's no way in hell how many of you mess with my gear, no. But, why not? Because you'll break it, or get hurt, and you too? What? You think I'm going to get hurt from, just from skateboarding, or, well... Technically, they are completely customizable, but yes, I don't have, mine doesn't have training wheels. <sighs> Fine. You know, so where are you headed, Mark? I need to get some fruit. Grapes? Yes. <laughs> what is with you grapes, man? But they're good. You have got to eat something other than grapes. <sighs> Seriously, you guys are sound like my mom. Well, this we agree with her. At the very least, you do need to start watching your diet you gotta eat vegetables too as well as meat fruit that's good and all but man you guys it's like having more parents than I would care to even look we care about you we aren't always going to be around to uh, kick it with you. Everyone's going to have to grow up sooner or later. Right? Yeah. So. You guys, uh... Um, doing anything later? Oh yeah, we're going to have to pretty much use our gears to start flying the air. What? Yeah, dude, you, you know how this, these things work. They actually use air as legit energy to keep themselves afloat. That's awesome. Oh, why you think I want one? Well, don't worry. Maybe if you get enough money and are old enough, you can buy your own. The way you're going to, have to wait until your mom 
It actually agrees with it. But I have no idea how long it's going to take. It'll, maybe it'll happen sooner or later. Don't worry about it. As soon as Izuku gets home with everything, he's... Uh, okay, I've been behaving. I've done my chores and everything. So hopefully she's more uh, agreeable after this. Hey, Mom! What is it? I got the fruit. Good. Um... <sighs> So, you, uh, you see your friends? Yeah. Did they say anything to you? No, not really. Good. Mom, what's going on? Me and the other adults are going to be leaving soon. What? Yeah, we're going to have to provide extra security for the Master Emerald and the Chaos Emeralds as well. What? Yeah. But why? But no one else is here, yes, but the other tribes are. And you know they... Not all of them are trustworthy. Hmm. But mom... N n no buts, it's final. If anything, I'll give you a call once I get there. And update you if anything else happens. But how long are you going to be? Two weeks. What? But we already lost Dad and I don't want to... I <laughs> You're not going to lose me. I promise. Heck, I'm stronger than your dad was. Uh, right. Besides, what's the worst thing that could happen? To Please don't say that. <sighs> Still superstitious, huh? Now, get to your room and start studying. Uh, hey, Mom! But, what? About my extreme gear. <sighs> we talked about this. Wait until you're older. How old? Until I say so, kid. So not fair. Well, I'm sorry. We have to protect it from ourselves and others. Don't worry, I'll be back before you know it. Two weeks. Yeah, two weeks and I'll come straight home. I promise. <sighs> okay. It's a promise. As Izuku is spending the rest of his time at home, his mom did leave him some money, but... Yeah, it's a, he's a kid, so... Chances of him really doing the right thing are slim to none. But luckily, there were few adults that were allowed to stay to keep everything running, so to speak. I mean, giving kids control of everything, that's pretty much yeah, asking for chaos, you could say. <laughs> <laughs> it 
Either way, what can I say? Izuku, he's pretty much waiting for his mom to call again. Before all they do is really talk about uh, him getting extreme gear. Is he eating enough? Is he studying? Doing his homework? Which he would say yes to, even though know, he hates studying. He doesn't want his mom to be upset with him when she gets back. But then, it's the end of the two weeks. He's a goo. Him, just looking forward to seeing Inko again. But then, on the time she usually calls, there isn't one. Him looking out, seeing that something's up with the sky. It's darker, it's more ominous. There's this weird presence around it. He can't explain it, but it's definitely something not normal. So, he decides to call and go himself this time. So when she picks up, she's panicking. She's worried as all hell. She's running as Hizuku's wondering what's going on. He's like, we were attacked. Wait, what? Yeah, so someone... One of the villagers actually had the balls to actually stage an attack today. And everyone else is gone. I, I'm i sorry, but I might... What? I might not make it for your birthday. <laughs> I'm sorry. What? Listen, um... In case things go sour, remember what we do. Just tell me. We are the guardians of the Chaos Emeralds, and more so when it comes to the Master Emerald. We will uphold this duty up until our dying day. Good. And Izuku, uh, stay safe. And remember, eat more than just grapes. Her hanging up as a huge explosion just goes throughout this whole area. And Izuku is not unconscious. When he wakes up, he's running. He's looking around, seeing if anyone's there, but he hears nothing. He sees no one else there. All the fruit, food, everything that used to have people coming far and wide. Yeah, that's still there, but there's no one at the stalls. There's no one else at the market. There's not a shred of anyone. As soon as he heads straight to a temple, he sees that the Chaos Emeralds are gone. But the Master Emeralds, luckily, is still there. Hey, Mom, wait, wait uh, I, I gotta try calling her again. Is ringing. He hears it and starts following it. All he sees is her phone. That's it. There's no body, there's no clothes, there's no shred of evidence that she was even there to begin with. As he falls to his knees, crying. I, I, this, this isn't right. How, why?
he takes her phone, heads home, and puts it in her room. But then he notices something under her bed. It's a present. What is this thing? Tearing it open, he sees that it's string gear. Happy fifth birthday from Mingo to Izuku. He's he's overcome with a swirl of emotions, happiness, sadness, grief, <sighs> excited, but he can't bear to really use it right now. He has to start looking, hoping that someone else is here with him. He doesn't like being alone. It's, it's a weird feeling. So, he goes throughout the villages, checking, searching for any evidence, any sign that anyone else may have survived that might be there, but there is nothing. I'm all alone. I, I, I don't like this. It's not supposed to be like this. We we shouldn't have. Mom, you promised. You said you'd come back. But you, but you left me alone. I, I I can't. I can't. I don't. I don't like this. Please tell me this is a show. Please tell me you're just hiding somewhere. Please come home. As he goes back, he waits. First, it's hours, days, weeks, months, until finally years of him waiting. As he replays everything Inko said on loop in his head. <sighs> oh well, it's time to go guard that Master Emerald. I can't go looking for the other there are Chaos Emeralds, but I'll be damned if I lose the Master one. Don't worry, Mom. I'll, I'll make you proud. Please tell Dad I said hi. Wherever you are. Who's that? Wait. Is anyone... must be hearing things. As th that is how Isuku's life is. We cut to years in the future. And <laughs> Isuku is 14 now. Except for you, little guy, huh? As, yeah, 
there's a chow. Spending time with Izuku now. I still can't believe you're all alone by yourself. But, at the very least, <laughs> we have each other, right? And that's all we need.